What's good, y'all? I'm here with another episode of Not So Randoms. Today, I got different guests with me. They're not going to be rappers. I got some other media influencers, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. All right, y'all. It's your boy, Trent Talks, a.k.a. Lou. Trent Mitch Jealous here. What's good? What's good? This is DJ Put On, uh, a.k.a. I Put On Agency. That's where we actually at right now, the agency the studio. And yeah, we're about to get into some questions for this episode. First question I have. So when did everybody here start their business? Like, when did you found, like, your business? All right, I'm going to go first for everything. Um, I started my page October 9th, 2018. Me, I started in uh, July of 2021. Um, I started, well, I started with, D, with DJing and, and blogging, I guess, at the same time. Um, that was in, uh, like, spring of 2007. Damn. Mm. Mm. I'm doing this for a I was in fifth grade. Yeah, that's a fact. I was six. So what made y'all like when it started and how did you get your name out there when you when you did start? Um I started cause I was bored. Uh, I feel like uh, a lot of artists in town needed a voice, a network. Uh, for me, and uh, getting started in this whole thing, kind of, I always did it. I went to prep school in uh, Princeton. I was from Trenton, though. So I was like, the, I was the president of diversity club. I was president of uh, student activities. So I was always into something, um, something constructive uh, at that. So, you know, when I got to college and I started meeting the cool guys, I went to Hampton University. I started meeting a lot of cool guys. I just fit in more so with the people that was into the music thing, um, DJing. And then I got in with the, the with up and coming blog site collegeradiomusic.com. So uh, those were my main, you know, two first little step, big major stepping stones to really be in a part of this industry. So what made y'all want to go 100% in? Actually, hey, before we even get to that question, I had another question after that one. It was, how did y'all get y'all name out there? So what, like, what was you doing to like get people to watch your shit? Like, I know for me, I would, like when I first started, my photo shoots, I was doing free shoots for a little bit of time, like going to different clothing brands and trend. Like, yo, I'll take your pictures, this and the third. Same for the video shoots too. And then eventually it just got my name out there and people started hitting me back, trying to ask me my prices and stuff. So what was it for you? Well, um, I just, I got really good at making content and just continu continuously dropping stuff. And I had this mysterious vibe to my page where people didn't know who I was. So it was all this content coming from this mysterious page. People gravitated towards it. Um, yeah, I think that's how I grabbed a lot of people's attention. And it was, it was, um, it was a perspective that hasn't been seen. It wasn't you know, people just recording a viral video or anything like that. It was real concrete um, content. You know? I think that's how I build attention about it putting at work and giving out good content? Um, for me, I was um, I was DJing. So I was DJing at, at a nice, illustrious university where we had a lot of major events. Uh, we had a lot of big promoters that came out of, uh, out of the college. Um, a lot of events we collaborated with other HBCUs, so that helped us spread. But a lot of everything I've done is, is networking. Uh, really just about taking the opportunity, uh, especially when you're given the opportunity making the best of it and then also networking. So whether it's free work or it's paid or it's whatever. Like my first uh, my first DJ gig uh, was with uh, was a Sasha Fierce album release party. And this girl on campus was working with a record label. I forget what record label she was with at the time. Whatever Beyonce was with. And, uh, and so she approached me to do it for free. But from there I networked at that actual event. Got way more, you know, a lot more gigs. And just kept going from there. So. Networking has been the key for me for real, for real. Just do good work and network. Um, me just knowing a lot of artists, managing some of them, talking to a couple people, and then from there, you know, start my own thing. It just 
build from there. People start to click in and just, they came. That's all I can say. Yeah. That's basically what it is. Like, getting your name out there, that's what brings them to you. If you get your name to them, it'll bring it to you. That's how I see it. But what's the pros and cons of, like, the businesses? Like, the ups and downs of what you guys do? Where, um... You know, when you work hard on content, for me, like being a content creator, I remember I was spend, I, I once spent like four hours editing a video that I posted at the wrong time, and it got 15 views, and the mm -hmm. algorithm just slapped it. You know, so that's like a con. When, you, when you're making content, you just gotta keep dropping it. You don't know how it's gonna do sometimes, so you just, mm -hmm. you just gotta be in the habit. You gotta be very good, of course. You gotta, post stuff that when someone sees it in the first 30 seconds they react to it you know if not if they don't react it gets pushed down the algorithm so that's one of the cons of my business anyway when you the, the goal is to make videos that people react to if they don't react to it then sometimes it goes wasted the pros is when you I'm able to put out stuff that can impact the collective like I could put out a video and it changes somebody's viewpoint, it changes somebody's mind, it changes the way somebody think. You know, that's powerful and that's what I love. Yeah, for me with well, a lot of what I'm um, a lot of what I'm doing, just in general, you know, the up is people and the down is people because we you know, we deal with people um, every day. So the up is people because, you know, when when you get some good material or you're able to do something productive with somebody um, you guys are able to have success with it, like he said. You know, you got something that goes out. <clears throat> artists drop a, a music video that gets a million views. You know, when they get to that <clears throat> million views, million plays, like stuff like that, then you know that's the that's the happiest part is helping somebody get to that success. Like your media or your effort helping them get to that level, get them more notoriety as well, and put them, like he said, into a better light where more people are like you. <coughs> and for it, you know, you get more views. But the downside is, you know, the disappointment that comes with people, too. So, um, you know, you deal with that a lot. You know, people missing interviews, people not coming on time to things, people just not really rocking with you how they're supposed to, um, and, and that in general. So, yeah, that's that's the downside of it, too. But, you know, so it's, it's up and down with it. I would just be like uh, keeping it uh, clean and keeping the balance of what people want to see. You know, that could be... A challenge sometimes everything doesn't go as planned you know all the time so you have to work with it and go around it uh, especially when it's more of a live action on the on the on the scene stuff it's not gonna go as planned you know so you gotta always have a contingency a and a contingency B to anything you're doing that's all I say yeah definitely something I would say is like trying to maintain like your actual life and your job like cause trying to maintain both of them at the same time it gets stressful like you said editing i'll be up editing all day and sometimes i'll just be like man i'm about to rush this shit but if you rush it you're not gonna get a lot of views so it's just like that but yeah it's a balance with that though like you know um it's a balance and i like to always like use the example of work you know what i mean really working and, and doing this like when you have a job but I, I like to use money to go with that, though. So, you know, you you have a job and you work that job. And then you'll start doing this and you'll do that a little bit. And then you work. And then, so now your time is kind of mm -hmm. cut down a little bit. You know what I mean? Only a certain amount of hours in the day type of thing. And so the more you get benefit or get paid or get, enjoy or get bigger with doing that thing that you're doing, like you just started up, the less you're going to be able to work. But, you know, hopefully you're able to make it lucrative to where you're making as much money as you are at work. And then you get to that middle point threshold where like, yeah, well, your boss is going to tell you like, yo, man, you done missed a couple days. Like, I know you've had big interviews. I know you was, and the boss going to tell you, so I know you was with Jay-Z now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're going to have to pick something here because I can't have you missing work this much. And then you have to pick and you're going to be broke for a little while, but you're going to struggle to get all the way back, you know, to 100% with that. So, so you know what I mean? You just gotta stick to it, and um, and it's always gonna be a good battleground that personal, personal or work relationship. Luckily for me, I could walk around as my business. Like I literally mm -hmm. walk around as my business. I'm a DJ or I'm, or I'm the owner of a studio, whichever way you look at. Um, 
anywhere I go. So it's like even if I do get a job now, like, come on, yeah. Yeah, I told you about this at the interview. Like, <laughs> y'all, y'all like this. Y'all like to be around. So like, you know what I mean? So um, so it becomes easier and easier when you meet women. You know what I mean? Like, they, this is what I do. You're not hiding from nobody. Like, this is what I do. I'm, I work. I'm out here. I'm outside shooting videos and might get shot at. Like. You know, sad the thing, but I'm I'm working. You know, so you know you, you they, they start to know when you run into them, and it, you know, as it becomes more and more a part of your life, so it becomes easier to deal with though. That's a fact. Fine. Oh, you gonna talk? No, I was just saying I thought that. Mm -hmm. So the final question I had was, y'all got anything out like to look out for coming soon? My album, baby. It's like nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I ain't got no album coming soon. None of that. Uh, what you got, TMJ? What you got coming up? Uh, Y'all screaming nothing. Like, we don't got something <laughs> big coming up. I would up. say, there's a lot coming. 2022. <laughs> Y'all better be prepared. Y'all better put them seatbelts on. Go play with them. You just better be ready. Yo, we put the town on. That's a fact. I can look forward to putting the be in the town. Be a Damn, that's a. You that. said you putting the town yeah, on. We putting the town on. Exactly. Like, you get the, you put on. Nah, I got it. Oh, trust me. Yeah, I, we had our put on agency right here. Trenton Talks, TMJ Walker Media. I put on. We are putting the town on. It's simple as such. You know what I mean? This ain't. This ain't. Uh, you know what I mean? A whim. This ain't random. This might be orchestrated. Somebody might have done this. The government might be behind this situation. Conspiracy! And it's really so if we ain't fucking with you. Blame and the government. And it's history. <laughs> you gotta remember that. This is also history. We live in a historic city, and this is history being right now. <laughs> Not Man. a lot of people sit down and train and just have these type of talks, so. Hey, listen. Like I'm about to get into short films, about to get into uh, movies. We're gonna. We're gonna expand the content. Yeah, man. Big um, documentaries coming. A lot, yeah. a lot of stuff coming. And mm -hmm. um, personally, I'm gonna improve on the videography skills. I think um, my platform has a lot of skills that we need to adapt and a lot of um, help we got coming. Shout so, out to Hugh Get Gems. Shout out to you. Big Get shout too. out to Hugh Get. Big shout out to everybody right now. that right. help out with Trend Talks, mm -hmm. the Trend Talks team. You know, we 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 are very deep. We are very deep. The whole town is deep. So. Yeah, the whole town is deep, man. Deeper than you thinking right now, too. Like you thinking you know that the town is deep, but you don't know how deep it really yeah, is. Know. If we it's start sitting around and start breaking it down to you, you start acting better when you walk outside. Trust me, you know, know there's people around you. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the final question. Yeah, but I, I still got some bonus let's go. questions, though. Let's go. Let's go. So the bonus yeah. question is. What's your favorite shoot or session? Because okay, I, you know, I know you'd be here. Favorite shoot? Keep going. Favorite shoot or session? Yeah, your favorite video shoot or session, basically. My favorite interview I ever did? Favorite vlog, favorite. Uh, one of my favorite vlogs was the riots downtown. I really enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but <laughs> that was really, um, that was some great content, you know? That yeah, was, that that was, was live, that was history. Um, although I did not post some of the things that went down for confidential reasons, you know, I don't, <coughs> I don't incriminate my brothers and sisters, but let's just say, Kix USA, you got got, <coughs> you got got, <laughs> and it was some great brothers I seen working together. I'm, I seen someone from North Train, and I seen someone from the section. No names. I I'm, I didn't see them, but. Unity. You know, someone else saw someone else and then, you know, they worked together and they got they got over yeah. Kicks USA. I'm not I am not informing about any situation that might or may or not happen that will never be solved. But however, that was a great day of unity. That's all I would say. Um, and y'all not getting the footage. For me, favorite shots, favorite shoot, it would be season one. I um, really enjoyed myself during season one. I believe every artist in the season did a great job. And me, myself too. It was my first time doing it with every artist. So I would say season one. I feel like my favorite shoot gotta be when I went on tour. Well, well when Don Diego 
425, he invited me on tour with Benny the Butcher. Because one, I ain't never been on no plane before. And now I had to go to Atlanta. That's my first time I was going on a plane, going to a oh. state other than, only places I've been for real is New York, PA, and Florida. So just going out somewhere other than them places. And you know, you hear a lot about Atlanta. Atlanta is where the big dogs is. So just going there, meeting all them different people and shit, just networking really just opened my eyes to a lot of stuff to like see that you could really go far with this. Like you don't gotta be just a rapper or a singer. You can really just be somebody that records shit behind the scenes and you get invited to all this big type of shit. So, but the next question I had is, what's your goal for 2022? Are you asking us as our brands or are you yeah. asking <coughs> as people? Both. Okay, so it was a double side question. Yeah. So Blue got a lot of stuff coming up, you feel me? The Trent Talks has his own thing coming up, so there's kind of a, um, a difference in there. We'll be trying to align it, but you know, they're they two different people, they two different conglomerates. So as far as myself, I want to actually start publishing books. I want to start, um, mm. I want to start putting my movies and my artwork out there, you know, putting more scripts out there, getting the screenwriting. And I think that can kind of um, coincide with Trent Talks eventually. And as far as Trent Talks, um, we do want to get into a web series eventually, sometime in 2022, but we were going to spend a lot of time outside of Trent. We even consider changing the name. Mm. Oh. Nah, 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 I, don't I don't know. I get that suggestion though. You can have different series, like, like I don't know where you're going to go, but like, I Am New York, but yeah. you don't have to necessarily change it, because that's where you started it, but just have different, like, like I don't know if you've ever seen the video shoots where they be doing one of the music videos in the different states with the microphone in the middle of just, like, the area, mm -hmm. but it's, like, it started in Chicago. Diego, Diego running that right now, doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that, too. Right. I've seen it on a couple of You can do it like that, just go yeah, to places. Yeah, I don't necessarily <laughs> think I have to change the name, but... People keep trying to play that in my ear, but I don't. But I don't put that past me because I mean, as far as like, I'm very unpredictable. I'm very much a wild card, but I don't necessarily think I have to change the name. You know? Yeah, got a, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Don't know what's coming up really. It's just mm -hmm. really unpredictable for me because when I, when I get bored, I get dangerous. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. dangerous when I get bored. So 2022 for me. On, on double on the double side of the coin, front side of the coin, TMJ, back side, R. Shadi. I'll be doing a lot of traveling next year and getting to even expand my people range. No more people. But for TMJ, you guys are in for a treat. There's going to be a lot of collaborations. It's going to be a lot of different episodes and seasons and stuff you just probably never see. So, other than that, I venture in the TMJ work, 2022. That's about it. Yeah, for me, um, in the agency, 2022 is going to be huge. Um, we're going to be doing a lot with the city of Trent, a lot of collaborations. Uh, we, you know, we, we're just going to keep on working hard and growing. Um, <clears throat> we got a... a a lot of support from uh, like Trent Downtown Association. Um, we got a lot of we got a lot of support and a lot of things that we're gonna be collaborating on and, and, and a lot of events and, and uh, like shows and different things like we did that, uh, like that that we're gonna be doing. It, you know, so just stay tuned, pay attention. Uh, it's kind of a lot, so y'all should just 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 stay tuned, honestly. Um, for twenty twenty two. I got some stuff on the tuck, starting up music videos. This series, actually, I'm not even releasing this series till 2022, so I'm taking it. I'm releasing my random, but this is the not so random series, so mm -hmm. it's not random questions, it's serious shit. Right. But it's not coming out till 2022. Sweet. Um, yeah. Trying to make a little collab tape with my favorite artist from the town, Mix and Tuck. And I'm about to start managing an artist, too. That's it. Hey. Nobody going nobody yet. It's coming soon, but that's it. Next question is, it's a mental health check, so how is everybody doing, like, in the head, mentally? 
I'm have a, I have an influx of energy right now. I'm great. And the crazy part is when you have highs like this, it's usually a low coming soon. Mm -hmm. So I gotta watch out. But I'm I'm pretty good right now. I had a long day at work. I got to sleep a lot. You know, I was watching presentations and I was just taking a nap. But um, I still got a workload. Always got a workload. But I feel good. I don't know. It's, I'm about to start playing sports again because I got too much energy. I dunk on somebody or something. Um, for me, I feel good. I feel good. I feel blessed. Um, anybody who knows me knows it's been a long road to highs and lows. Um, so it feels good to be up here uh, in the agency. And uh, I mean, I feel good. I wake up every day feeling good. And just, you know, looking to help and, and push forward. Get money, you know? Get money. Um, feeling great. Feeling great. A lot on the mind. And that's the bad and worst place you can go in life. But, you know, I feel good. I feel good. Um, just thinking about the what's about to come ahead of time. You know, you always got to keep on what's, keep on track, you know. So, I'm now feeling good. Might be a low, like Lou said, coming up. Never know. Mm -hmm. But you just got to live life as the moment. Keep going. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing okay. I definitely be having like my highs and lows, but normally I'm just like I'm the type of person that everything in life happens for a reason, so I'm just gonna go through it. And as long as I keep my head up high and set it down, I'm gonna know where I'm going. Like, I'm gonna get to my destination. So I just always try to keep my head up, stay positive, you know, work, because it keeps you distracted from the bullshit. Last and final question. I might say a couple more minds, but I'm trying to save them because they all going to be on the tape. But who are, you, who are your favorite artists from the town currently? Man, yo, I got a long list. Oh, a lot of people. I, I'm that's not about to that's name what I'm all right now. Yeah. Off the top, I know that. All right, how about, they, I don't even want to say top three. I don't know like the film. Um, nah, I could, I could just tell you some people to look out for. Who, who? And I'm the cheat. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say Red Banger, because mm. I DJ for him. That's my man. So uh, yeah, look out for Red Banger if you haven't heard of him. Red Banger, he good. So I, I cheat. I stole that one. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, who else we got? Uh, shout out to Lamage. Mm, that's a good she one. got the violin. Mm. I hop. I heard the show. I, 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 yes. A lot of y'all might have seen them videos. Lamage. Okay, one more. Then I'm gonna tell y'all pay attention for. Um, I'm still in one more. <laughs> still in one more. I, I, I and I don't even know the homie. I don't even know the homie. But MTO Biggie Don, I've been here. Mm, yeah. I've been splashing. I've been, I've been to the party. Yeah, the party. I was crazy. I've I, I seen it all. So I'm going to give y'all them three. I don't even know the boys, though, eh? Yeah, definitely. Tim, Jenny, can I get with you? You really want to do this, Lou? Yeah, it's not a top three. I, I, this is just, this is three, this is just three off the you top that y'all know. Y'all want to put them on to right here. Watch your media a lot. question a lot. Uh, I, I, I didn't say top three. I didn't say no number. I said no, no, just, just come on, man. Who you? I'll be like, who have you been like? Who you been playing in your car recently this this week? You got to make it undeniable. Look, the three people I said undeniable. Can't nobody get on here and be upset. Nobody can get it. Uh, I'm not making it undeniable, bro. There's three fire people. Three of them? Three fire people, bro. You got mad artists on your page. Huh? Bring a number down? No, it's not you, no order. Just oh, oh, you said how many? You can say as many artists as you Yeah, you can oh, say you, you just stuck with three of them. <laughs> you give me a number. I'm like, okay. Not say as many but you, you said it was other people you fuck with too. So. Three people in town one. Alright, I'll give y'all one. Number one artist I do mess with in town is Trey Band. Mm -hmm. His music uh is very relaxing. And it has uh, concepts I can get with them, you know. So, y'all heard it from me. Y'all heard it. So, there it is. That's it. Yeah. That's the one. One. <laughs> one. One. Dropped it. I'm I'm get one. I can't. Give y'all one. I can't go against that. That's a powerful I one. Y'all want more? Y'all want more? You meet me in the comments. You meet me in the comments. I might like. I might like what you say in the comments. Okay. Y'all want more? All right. Name a person TMJ like. You have to the bloody position, sir. Ah. I'm gonna go with the people that I'm working close with. You know what I mean? The people that, some underrated artists, you know, 
this is going to drop in 2022, so by then I think they should be rolling. You know, we got my guy OG Rondo. He's making some very different music. Um, the music has a vibe to it, has a message, has a purpose. Um, we got a big up to my, my cousin Von 609. He has a lot of things coming up too. Uh, 2022 is going to be big for him. Um, also, shout out Trey Twiz. I, I, I see his work ethic. You know, he's working very hard. You know, I have conversations with him. Big Don's working very hard. Um, who else? HG's just put out a project. You know, he didn't put it out yet. HG's will put out a project. 2022. These people that uh, watched their process, you know. So, anybody if, else? If you, if you think you got it, though. You can pull up any Friday. Right. Any Friday, you can pull up with your championship bar and grill. If you think you got the talent, you got the mic, pull out out there in the first place. And then to get on that stage and take over the stage, then pull up. Really put put your money where your mouth is. You know, put your talent where your mouth is. Oh, I got to give a shout out to a producer. Mm, okay. Don't play with JP. Oh, JP? JP. JP. Oh, you can't, no, man, you can't be breaking out my secret weapons for 2022. No, that's not your secret I ain't weapon. even drop my. I ain't even drop my intro. The DJ put on intro. Look, look, when look. I go to the club and I slam the clubs, I'm about to do the DJ put on intro challenge with the beat that he made for that shit. Oh. That young man is is is. I, I don't. I haven't oh, seen too many 19, 20 year olds with that kind of a drive. So, and he's. He's, he's a producer in, his, in the lane of his own. So. He's looking for him. God, at me. He's in his own lane. No, he's, he's signed Trent Talks. No, so that is cool. very good. <laughs> that, 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 that is extremely <laughs> good. <laughs> extreme. Okay, okay. This, is, this is pretty easy. It's a collaboration. This is pretty easy. It's, it is a collaboration, but it's really mine. You know, it's just okay, strength. Yeah, it's off the strength we put on. But it's, what? I, I introduced you. Listen, whoever you call first, when you see this interview, that's it. That's it. Whoever you call first after this interview drop, that's how we know we said this. I will fire you. Mm -hmm. We're talking about artists. You already hired here, so don't worry about it. You good. Spend more hours with me. So how do you love being up here? <laughs> talking about artists, I hope y'all prepare for 2022 for the Artist Olympics. 100 artists elimination. One of y'all going to be the best artist in the town. And I'm going to be running. We're going to see. We're going to see. Um, all y'all hit me up. We're going to see. Also, by the way, and I'm just dropping this on y'all too. Starbucks in 2022. I run the playlist at Starbucks. All Trenton only music at the downtown Starbucks hub. Make sure you submit your music. Submit your music. We are collaborating here. I need all positive metal music. Positive music. You can't rap about killing people. We don't want none. You can't rap about shooting no, people. We got the true talent. I don't That's even. We, we, we probably we even gonna stay away from the emo. Anything emo, we probably <laughs> stay away from. We need uplifting, good, yeah. positive messages. <laughs> they, don't, they don't got to be gospel now. I don't. Unless, oh, I don't rap about that. Unless I'm sad on some raw wave shit. Yeah, some raw yeah. on some raw wave. Sad, sad on some raw sad wave. inspo. That's the inspo. Bring, bring more good energy to the people that's eating and the people inside the establishment. Yeah, to the yeah, overall city. Not everybody want to be on that time all the time. And if you can't make that kind of music, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's going to show. If you can't make a song like that, that's a problem. You can't make a song you can't make music like that forever. You can't. Another thing, too, if you're an artist, you should be able to do it. That's coming from a Trent Music Journalist himself. Yeah, that's a real <laughs> right off of what Trent Talks just said. It's real artist. You should be able to do it. That's a real artist right there. Like, real. I'm not even going to cap. I might just. Show this part a little bit earlier so people can see what's going on for real. Yeah, I mean, you know, gotta get some free you, you better put some positive music out for real. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. Because at the end of the day, you gotta remember there's a big Starbucks network that plays music, and you can be a part of that network. And the truth is, let me tell y'all, I'm gonna even tell y'all how many songs I got. So if you're not on this playlist, you're not an artist. As simple as that. Mm. 400 songs. Mm. I got a 400 song playlist to play at Starbucks downtown. If you're not on 400 songs, you're not. Oh, 400 songs? 400 songs? You can't can we get a... Um, 400 songs. Let's just give this man the credit he deserves. Let me try. Like, what, what, what's his name? What's his name? What, what's his name? DJ Put On. What is he doing? Putting on the city. Who's the got... Who do we know that's that's been able to get the town 400 songs in Starbucks? 
We never had these kind of connections. We never this is had, official. This is solidified. Like, They're waiting crazy. on me. They're yeah. currently, this is still uh, 2021. They're waiting on me, but we're going to drop in 2022, and we're we going to bust their heads. I know we got music. It's so a we drop in 2022. You know how many people come into Starbucks? Y'all music is about to be playing. You know the deal with Starbucks is all genres. All so, genres so rough, of music. Dance hall, the Afrobeats, the pianists, the violinists, the whatever you cymbals, cha cha cha, whatever <coughs> you do, trust me. If it's fire, we can play this Starbucks. Exactly. That's a good opportunity. This is somebody you should be networking. If you are an artist in Trenton, you know, like if you're gonna book a, a session because you, I know people that book in New York because of the DJ in New York or because of the, the way the studio looks or because of the notoriety they're gonna get. The benefits you could get from working with DJ Put On are, uh, they're pretty much up there with you going to New York or anywhere outside, all of the big A and R's, you know, this is somebody that isn't getting the attention right now. And by 2022, he might be all booked up all the time. Mm-hmm. So if you're not networking with him now, if you're not, if you ain't rocking with put on, then you're not trying to get put on. That's what it's I'm point saying. Period. Is, I subscribe not. put on to all of y'all because for the simple fact that it's so much network here, mm-hmm. you're not going to find this nowhere else. And you want to go to New York, and you want to go to Philly, and you want to go into their studios, and they see their networks, but you're stuck in yourself in a circle out there, not here. You're not bringing more attention here. You got to win your city, man. Exactly. I've been tired of all that shit, and motherfuckers keep saying, oh, my city not fucking with me. No, you can win your city. Over. You can't win over the people around you. Then how you going to go win over some strangers? It might be slow in your city now. now that, that we understand what y'all talking about. Sometimes you got to move around and people got to see you move around. That's always. That's from start to finish. You're just doing this music thing. You always got to move around and, and look for people to mess with you outside of town. But if you have people right here don't got your back, you ain't doing nothing. Bro. You're not that too. Do you're going to do music. You're either separated from being a career or a hobby. You just don't say, I'm an artist, and you take it as a hobby. You feel me? You take it as a career. You invest into yourself. You do what you're supposed to do to get your music heard to other people. Don't get mad at the whole city not listening to you because you didn't put 100% into your work. You are the key to your success. Remember that. Unlock your door. It ain't your homies. It ain't your mama. It ain't to my ear. Oh, my homies did. Oh, my mama won't. I just know you're not ready. You, anybody that come in here and take responsibility, say I ain't do this, I ain't do that. That's the type of artist I want to work with because I know that they're ready to take the responsibility and be as, as, as useful to themselves as they can be to do this thing, get it right. That's why I like. See, that's why I like people like Rick Banger. A lot of people sit around, oh, Rick Banger, this, Rick Banger, that. But that man take responsibility for every single thing that he do. And things that he don't do, things that his team do. You know what I mean? He take responsibility for that. That's not, and I don't mean your homie went and did some, some shiesty shit and you ran around saying you did it. That's not what I mean. I mean, he's made legitimate life mistakes and he's able to take the rap for that and have the team move forward to make success type of thing. <coughs> like, you know what I mean? So, like, that's why I support our certain artists. You know what I mean? That they continue to put into themselves. Trey Bando continues to put into himself and take responsibility for what he needs to get done. You feel me? So it's hard out here for everybody. It's hard for everybody. The connections ain't there for everybody. And not everybody gonna fuck with every artist. Like, everybody keeps screaming one record label or another record label that they need to rock with or a certain A&R that they got to go see because the other dude's song. Like, it, it don't work like that. But just keep focused on yourself. That's why I keep focused on yourself and the craft and the work you put into your artistry. Trust me, they gonna come. Go to these shows. Go to all these showcases. Go network with people, and it's gonna come. Like, stop! Don't chase the same one or two people to think you got it. Like, oh, I already got a plug. I just need to go in here and knock out this album, and then I'm gonna play it for this one again. He's gonna give me all the money in the world. Another thing, too, artists: a closed mouth does not get fed. You go into public, you see all these people around you. You're an artist. You're about to go on stage, and you have kept your mouth shut the whole time. You're not feeding yourself. You're starving amongst a whole bunch of people. You have to put yourself out there to be in a position. Remember that. Closed mouth does not get fed. There's a lot of media outlets here in Trenton. Like you got three or one, three solid 24 hours, seven days a week media personalities right here in front of you on the same couch. And there's, there's a lot more in the town. So 
There's no way that you don't have a way to get yourself out there. Everybody DMs is open. And I'm willing to work with anybody. If you're trying to grow, trying to just Same get here. out there and have a successful future, we all here. Yeah, everybody's ready to work with you. So, you know, there's really no questions about that part, about if it's any, any resources for you. There's resources for you. So we can cut that chit-chat right now. <laughs> Facts. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Um, you can find me at, at Walker underscore media on Instagram and I'll let you guys. Yeah, you can check me out. I put on agency, I P U T O N agency, right there on that Instagram. I put on agency at gmail.com if you got something serious to say. I try and talks. Uh, yeah, I try and talks. Mm-hmm. You can find me on Instagram at at TM underscore journalist. Look me up on YouTube at Trenton Music Journalist. And uh, Facebook, Trenton Music Journalist. And keep it like that. All right, y'all. Stay tuned for more.